today we are talking about acne and stretch marks and scarring and hyperpigmentation and uneven skin tone and, and big pores and, and blemishes and, and anything else you can think of that you want to erase on your skin. Um, I am so excited to share with you one of my most used all-time favorite skin tools, the PMD. I am sure you guys have seen other reviews. This is like all over the internet right now. Um, I've been using mine for a couple years and I'm really excited to share kind of my skincare journey with you. Um, but first, in order to share my journey, I need to show you where I started. So here are my lovely before photos. This last pregnancy, you guys, my skin was a nightmare. Like I... I hated it so bad. I was so embarrassed that I avoided being social with friends. I hated when I had to film because I was like, oh no, everyone's gonna see my terrible acne. And so I would like jack the lights up in my studio as high as they would go so that you guys couldn't see the texture of my skin. Go back and look, cause you'll notice. Um, but it was just, it was miserable. It was a miserable experience. And I remember having similar um, hormone, skin, acne issues when I was pregnant with Boston and Savvy, but definitely not as severe as when I was pregnant with the twins. So fast forward to now where my hormones have finally calmed down. I'm just left with all this scarring on my skin and it's really, really frustrating. So let me introduce you to my little friend, the PMD or personal microderm. I don't know if any of you guys have been to like a spa and had a, a microderm abrasion done. They're really expensive. They're great. They only work though if you're consistent and because they're so expensive, usually you get like one here and there and they're not really effective because of that. So this little machine brings your microderm abrasion, your expensive microderm abrasions done at like a salon or an esthetician's office into your home where you can do them once a week. The PMD has these little discs on it, and they're made out of fancy crystals, but it's pretty much like sandpaper. Top little sandpaper piece, it exfoliates the top skin cell barrier. So it breaks down the top layer of skin and exfoliates it right off. But the special part about it is that it has some suction. So you turn it on, and it has suction to it. So it kind of sticks like a vacuum. And basically what this suction does is it increases blood flow and circulation so it repairs like the collagen and the elastin in your skin which is really vital when you're trying to repair and have new pretty beautiful skin so if you're struggling with acne scars blemishes hyperpigmentation stretch marks enlarged pores sunspots which i have right here because i did used to tan when i was younger don't do it don't do it and uneven skin texture if you are dealing with any of these problems then this would be a great investment for you so the blue discs are sensitive so when you first start using it you're going to want to use a sensitive and then um the green is like medium and the red is really coarse so i have been using the green the medium coarseness level because i've kind of worked up to that so make sure you're using the right coarseness level for your skin or you will burn yourself. Um, I've actually done it before and it's not very fun. What happened was I had just gotten it out of the box and I thought I was like, oh, I, my skin can handle all of this. So I was doing it and I didn't know how to use it yet. And I was like going up like this and I just let it linger. And I was like, yeah, this hurts real good. Pain is beauty. Ugh. Yeah, I like I had like three burn marks the next day. I was like seriously. Oh, you're such an idiot So the PMD is my absolute rock star favorite product ever it retails like 159 I have a 15% off coupon. I'll leave below. That's the highest coupon they have right now um, and you guys it's like 150 bucks to get one microdermabrasion at the salon or the spa or whatever. This is well worth your investment. You cannot put a price tag on your face, especially when you're like embarrassed to leave the house. So you're actually going to start with a clean face because I've already done my makeup. I'm not going to clean my face. But start with a clean face usually like at night after you've washed it because your skin can stay a little bit red. So I just do it at night. And then what you're going to do is kind of hold your skin taut. And you're going to use very steady hands and you're just going to slowly glide it up. So I start from, I go like from about the corners of my mouth and I just do it in little lines like this all the way up like this and then kind of around my eye. And it can get a little bit tricky when you're doing your nose because you have to get that section on there. So I, you know, have to kind of, uh, work at it a little bit to get it around my nose and my eyes. That's about the hardest part. And then you're just going to do the same thing on the other side, your chin, down your neck, and then like your forehead, all of that area. And you're just going to use very light hands. 
um, and you're gonna go very steady. You don't wanna hold it in the same spot because if you do, you can burn yourself, like I said earlier. So slowly move it around and you'll feel it and it will just leave you with like a little bit, a teeny bit red. Um, and then afterwards, you're gonna wanna really hydrate your skin um, and kind of refuel it with nutrients. It's gonna be very vulnerable because you've broken down that cell barrier, uh, the skin cell barrier. So you're gonna want to really let your products work. This is how you can really infuse your skin with a lot of nutrients. So use a very high quality lotion or oil, which I'm gonna talk about in just a minute. So I'm ready to share with you my next favorite tricks. The first is this, Clarisonic. Have you guys heard of this? If you haven't, where have you been? Like hiding under a rock because this thing is everywhere. It should be in every woman's beauty arsenal. Um, if this is a cleansing system. A lot of people think that, my hair is in my face. A lot of people think that um, the Clarisonic is an exfoliator. It is not. It helps to clean the face. It doesn't exfoliate. Um, it's just a brush with like soft bristles. And basically what I do is my skin responds really well to benzoyl peroxide. So I use Proactive, the Proactive wash. I don't use the toner or the lotion because I don't think they work. So I just take my makeup off with some makeup remover, wash my face with uh, Proactive, and then while it's still, I know Proactive doesn't really get sudsy, but while there's still stuff on it, I just kind of, and it's timed so you know exactly how long to clean your face. Kind of like my the toothbrush app that my kids use to brush their teeth. I'm like, no, you have another minute left. <laughs> So to clean the brush, I have found because this thing made me break this thing <laughs> made me break out so bad because I was washing it with I think baby baby wash or something or makeup remover I can't even remember I was washing it with something and it was making my skin break out like crazy and somebody recommended this beauty blender cleanser which has saved my life so every time I use this after I'm done I just spin it in the beauty blender cleanser and then the brush is like new and there is no bacteria and it's safe for me to use next time so I would suggest getting this and this and the new heads you can all buy these on Amazon which I'm a big fan of so anyway I use this when I wash my face and then um, afterwards because I skipped the toner and the repairing treatment I have been my my big secret kind of you guys is that I use oil on my face is that weird kind of hooked on this keke I think that's how you say it oil it's keke naturals you can get it on Amazon it's not very expensive and this has like magical anti-aging properties in it it helps to reduce the blemishes and the scarring and just heal the skin overall and I love it because it doesn't make my skin feel um, greasy or you know I don't have like clogged pores or anything which actually really surprised me when I started using an oil on my skin this is like 100% organic it has retinol in it and then what I love about using an oil is it delivers a high punch of like nutrients for your face so you put it on your fingers and you like massage it under the eyes it feels so good um, but you massage it under your eyes and on your chin and forehead and everywhere and then it leaves your skin with like a really matte finish so I love it because I can use it to prime my makeup so I'm I'm noticing that I'm not using my primer anymore or as much because my fit my skin feels so hydrated so I would recommend getting some of this if you've never tried an oil on your skin you will die and then um, don't judge me but another thing that I use I don't even know how often I use this just when I notice it um, it's called a twinkle razor I'll leave the link below but it's a little razor and if you guys want your face to feel like a baby's bum because who doesn't want that and you want your foundation to go on really super smooth um, get rid of your peach fuzz, all of you. Do it now. Just shave it off. I'm gonna link um, of one of my favorite videos with Michelle Money and Laura in it, and they are like my favorite girls in the history of ever. So I'm gonna link their video of them explaining why you should all shave your faces. <laughs> but I seriously do, I shave my face. And guess what, I'm proud. I'm proud, I am proud. So I shave my face when I start noticing it. Just, you know, a little bit of, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And um, that kind of also exfoliates it too in between the PMD. So that is pretty much my skincare regimen. That's how you say it, right? Regime? No, that'd be like, no. Okay, regimen. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're dealing with acne scars or like stretch marks or any of those issues, I would really encourage you to get the PMD. I've been using it for a couple years now and I just really love it and I think that it works. So I hope that you guys will try it and um, if you're dealing with acne, 
I am so sorry, one heart to another. I hope that some of these little tools can help you either reduce scarring if you've gotten your acne under control or, um, you know, just give you some encouraging hope. You can follow me on Instagram at twistmepretty and I'm finally on Snapchat, yay! Snapchat, I'm at uh, twistmepretty2 with it like a number, two. <gasps> Too. <laughs> um, so yeah, come find me and subscribe below if you haven't already. And I love you guys so much and we'll see you next week. Bye!